This is a WCVB Channel 5 editorial speaking on behalf of the editorial board, WCVB President and General Manager, Kyle Grimes. Finally, a debate that actually sounded like, well, a debate. Tuesday's vice presidential showdown between Republican J.D. Vance and Democrat Tim Walls featured policy, substance, and, rare for our times, civility. It was the kind of debate American voters used to expect from our candidates before 2016, when political events became Molotov cocktail parties. To be sure, the two candidates sparred, highlighting the differences between their two bosses, outlining their positions on border security, reproductive rights, and the economy. But thorny, divisive issues like gun violence in schools produced moments of humanity and hope that bipartisan solutions may one day be possible. Of course, this was the undercard. And as refreshing as Tuesday night's debate was, it doesn't reflect the full reality of the 2024 election. Vance did an admirable job, putting a veneer of thoughtful policy on hateful, vile attacks waged on the campaign trail, on social media, and on podcasts. Within 15 minutes, Vance's boss took to social media and helped us return to politics as usual, calling Walls obviously not very bright and attacking the CBS moderators as extremely biased anchors. As distasteful as the name-calling and sophomoric attacks may be, the true danger lies in pitting people against each other, fostering racial and ethnic divides, and undercutting our foundational democratic institutions like free and fair elections. So while we return to business as usual until Election Day 2024, at least Tuesday's debate gives us a glimmer of hope that future elections may return to normalcy. Send comments to editorials at WCVB.com.